Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? I'm sitting right out of my gate, but I wanted to, um, can you guys hear this outside? Indiana summer, it's so pretty, isn't it? <sighs> what a good day. What a good day to be alive. I mean, any day is a good day to be alive, right? Some days don't feel like that always. So, you know, some days are, are rough, some days are tough, but I've learned to have a real appreciation the last couple years. I'm really wanting a Diet Coke so bad. I have really learned to have appreciation the last couple years um, for just every day that I've been given, you know? I can remember like, God, this has been a long time ago, you guys. This was probably, um, well, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. I can remember talking to a friend of mine about like gratitude, you know? We were talking about gratitude and and I said, you know, I need to be grateful for my life on a daily basis because, you know, there are people out there that are fighting for one more day, one more breath. There are, you know, the kids at Riley's Hospital downtown tonight, you know, that are like, that probably won't make it one more day. There are people, you know, in other countries and in our own country that are starving daily, you know, and um, don't know where their next meal is or their next, you know, glass of clean water is going to come from a glass or sip of clean water, you know. And I think it's like those things that we say, it's like we say them, but like, do we really feel them? Cause they're not right in front of us. But I have like this, like my finger hurts so bad, you guys. It's like now it's like the skin is tightening, you know? But it's like, I have this moment of realization where I was like, but it's true, you know, like, I mean, it is absolutely true. That's what happens, you know, like that that's going on out there. And so, I should be grateful for everything because it is true. Those are not just fake examples, you know? Like, that exists in our world today. And so, I need to be super, super grateful for, you know, everything that I've been given and just be like, you know what? Like, my life could be so much worse and um, it could be hundreds of thousands of times worse. And when I get stuck in this feeling sorry for myself, this self-pity, it's like, I don't want to go there anymore, you know? and. I say this in my videos a lot, that I, I feel very, very blessed for the peace and the serenity that I have on a daily basis, and that is not a luxury to me. I'm not willing, you know, to let that go. I'm just not. It's just, it, it's not a luxury to me. It's something that I have to have in my life today, you know, so that I, I'm able to have a relationship with my husband, so that I'm able to take care of my dog, so that I'm able to have a relationship with my friends and my family. and you know, continue to stay sober and work a good recovery program, I have to have peace of mind in my life today. I have to have serenity. I can't get chaotic and frenzied again. I just can't go there, you know? And I've been there at times in my life. I've been there at lots of times in my life where I just, you know, I it, it's not as important to me as it was at one point. And, you know, it's like I get caught up in all this kind of stuff. And it's like, I, I can't go back to that. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you know, when you're going through like a breakup, you know, have you ever like gone through a breakup and it's like, that's all you can think about, you know, is like a getting them back. B, do you want them back? C, like what you would have gone back and done differently. You know, it's like each breakthrough I've ever gone through in my life is very similar to that, you know? And it's like in that moment, you're almost like frenzied. And, um, I think that's why it's important for me on a daily basis to wake up you know, with starting with peace and serenity in my day and a clear head and not getting on the phone and not going to social media and things like that to, you know, just do my prayers, do my meditations, affirmations, my gratitude list on a daily basis so that like I have that foundation for serenity in my life. And I had the window down, it was so nice. And now that I have it up a little bit, it's kind of hot in here. But I don't know if you guys can hear me when I have to hear that outside. But, um, there was a cricket or what, whatever, the lo they're not locusts, are they? I don't know what they are, cicada, in our garage. And it was like this big, it was like huge. It was just a good day, you know, I went and got coffee and I ran some errands, I was listening to my audiobook, and then I came home and I started making videos. 
and uh, our neighbors, she and her roommate were out on the patio and they were just like, you know, sitting there having a couple beers and talking and I went out there and talked to them for a little bit and let the dogs run around for about a half an hour and um, it just was such a beautiful day in Indianapolis and I just was so relaxed today and it just was such a great day and I kind of made a video and then like rendered it and uploaded it and then you know, went back outside for a little bit, talked on the phone and you know, and I didn't actually, I started making videos, it, it took me a lot longer than I usually, it usually takes me, I started making videos at like 3.30 or 4 and I didn't finish filming my last video till like 8.30 and it was my review video that I did and I wasn't going to do it because it was like so late and I was like, you know what, I really want to do a review video. Alex went out to dinner with Sarah and his friend who, her mom passed away a year ago, so they were good. So they were doing like a dinner for her, you know, because she was kind of having a tough day and stuff. And she knew she was, they planned it yesterday or the day before. But anyway, and then they went back over to her house and um, it's like 1130. Alex just got home and um, so I was talking to him for a little bit. And then he was like, I got to go to bed because I have, um, he's got like an early meeting in the morning. So he's like, I'm going to go to bed. And then, yeah, and we're going to watch Pose tomorrow night. We're going to Vegas next week, so I'm starting to get ready for that. I was making my list today of all the stuff that I have to do for Las Vegas. Oh, I went and stopped by the kennel today, and I talked to uh, Tanya Jean and the girls for a while, which was fun, and um, did all that. So beautiful, her land out there is so pretty, you know? I think even that, like, I take for granted. You know, sometimes I go out go into a gas station, get a found pop or whatever, it's like, um, you know, if it's hot, like, you know, I always talk to the people that work in gas stations and I'll be like, it's so hot today, you know, or they'll say, God, are you staying cool or whatever? And I'm like, I always say this. I'm like, yep, remind me of this in February when we're complaining about the snow and the cold, but it's true, you know, it's like, um, every, like today it's, it's 69 right now, but I think it was like mid seventies. It was beautiful outside today. It was absolutely beautiful. Felt more early fall than summer. And I, and I stayed on program all day today. Um, and I feel good. I will say I'm a little hungry tonight, but you know, it's really like the, the second day. So it's, of course I'm gonna be hungry. Um, I'm gonna, I think when we come back, I'm gonna get right back on it again. I'm not gonna do what I did. Um, well, what I've done, go two days, miss two. I mean, it's not like I'm really ever in the fat burn thing, you know? So when I go to Vegas, um, as soon as I get back from Vegas, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the, get back on the program. But so I'm going to do it between now and then. And then when I get back on it, um, I have to remember to change my date on the Optavia too. I think that girl that just drove by, I think I know her. But that'd be kind of a strange car for her to drive. Do you ever think that? Do you ever think you see somebody and then you're like, you see them in a certain car and you're like, they wouldn't be in that car? Taco Bell sounds good. I love Taco Bell so much. I really do. But, you know, when you're a vegetarian and you replace everything that's beef for beans or if you get like, you know, because like they, you can get the seven layer burrito and you can get the uh, bean burrito and they're, vegeta they're vegetarian. And then I usually get um, a nachos bel grande and I replace the beef with beans. You can replace anything at Taco Bell with beans. And, um, but it's like, I'm so, this is gonna sound so funny, but I'm so beaned out. I mean like completely like I've had enough beans for a day once that you talk about that I really don't want Taco Bell for a while and I don't ever go through there and just get like a bean burrito but if you've never just had a bean burrito from Taco Bell it is hands down one of the most fantastic things also if you're a meat eater I don't because you know I don't eat meat anymore can I get out of here this way but the Mexi Melt which is like a dollar is fantastic I used to know this girl back in the day she would go to Taco Bell, I can't remember. She would go somewhere for her, like the chips, because they had good chips. I think it was Taco Bell. And then she would go to like Arby's or someplace for the cheese, or I don't know where she went, Chick fil A or something. She would go somewhere for the cheese, because she liked to dip her, che her chips in cheese, but she didn't like Taco Bell cheese. Okay, hold on a second. I'm making a note to myself. Look at me holding it way out. Okay. I 
Okay. I gotta make sure I do that. Why is this car stop not going this way? So that what happened last time doesn't happen again and I get sent another box when I haven't even opened. Well, I opened the new one today to take out, um, what are they pulling in here for? That's interesting, the pet supply store. Um, I pulled out a couple boxes of the bars because that's mostly what I eat is the bars. Today I had three bars. I really was missing the peanut butter ones and I've been out of them for a while. So today I had three bars. This is my eating today. I didn't do the lean and grain. I did three bar. I had six uh, of the Optivias. I didn't do a lean and grain. I had six, I oh, no, no, I had three bars and then I had three or four bars and two bags of snacks. I had the barbecue crunchers, which were really, really good. And then I had, or did I have three snacks? No, I had two. And then I had the, um, honey mustard, like, they're not pretzels, they're like crackers, but they taste like those honey mustard pretzels. They're pretty good. I just like something easy, and like, it's all of it easy. Like, all of it is easy. Like, even if you're doing the, you know, the brownie, or the, like, I have blueberry muffins, and I have blueberry brownie, or something, chocolate brownie, all of that. You know, the decadent brownie that Alex said was his favorite. I have all of that, so the cookie, cookie, the brownie, I have everything, right? They're easy. You just put them in this little thing and you mix it up and then you put it in the microwave. Like Alex said to me, he was like watching this channel. This There's this woman out there and she has like a whole channel all dedicated to her Optivia journey. And she does like, she'll, like, so she doesn't do like a lean and green. So the lean and green is supposedly like your sixth meal, but you can have it at any time during the day. And then you also get like, there's extra things you can have in there. Like you could have like a diet soda. I'm like, whatever with the diet soda, I'm going to have the diet soda. Um, but, and I know diet soda is not good for you. I already know that. But, like, she, like, there's certain things you can have. There's so much fat you can have. There's so much this. And there's certain ones that you can have, whatever, right? So she goes in there and she'll make, like, she'll mix stuff together. And she'll make, like, a little waffle and whatever. And I'm just like, that is way too difficult, okay? I mean, like, it's not. But, like, I don't need to, like, have a, a, a waffle. I'm totally fine eating um, a brownie that tastes exactly like the waffle would taste. Like, I don't really care, you know? But Alex was like, oh, this is really cool, and we should try some of these things, and we should do this, and we should do that. And I was like, yeah, I guess we could, but, you know, I mean, you can mix that thing up six ways from Sunday, but it's not going to taste like anybody's Whopper. It just isn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just not that grand. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. These people are like walking around. Now it's like when you see people like walking around with their like phone, you wonder like, are they looking for Pokemons or are they waiting for their Uber? <laughs> Pokemon or Uber, it's a new game. Oh, I should change, I should call my vlog that tonight, Pokemon or Uber. That would be kind of a fun game, wouldn't it? When you get down the street and you like look and see people, are they looking for Pokemons or are they looking for their Uber? Most people are looking for their Uber around here. They're not looking for, oh, Indiana, fine ripe tomatoes. They're not looking for any Pokemons, I don't think. Anyway, oh my god, this gas station right up here has the best fountain pops in the entire world. It's this little old gas station. Their fountain pops are like every fountain pops like 99 cents or something like that. It's so good. They literally have like four, they have like Sprite, uh, Coke, Diet, like they have like, they have Pepsi products in there. So whatever that is, 7-Up or Sierra Mist or whatever, I don't even know. They have like, you know, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and then they have Dr. Pepper, and then they have like a Sierra Mist. They don't have Mountain Dew or any of that kind of stuff, just separate four things. You know, it's like two and two and then the ice in the middle. And, or maybe it's, is it three and three? I think it's just two and two, it's real small. It is the best. I don't know what makes it so good, but it really is good. I should do a review. This is what I should do. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I should redo a review comparing different fast food fountain pops. That would be so good, but I already know, like McDonald's wins hands down. And the other thing is it's hard because like, you I mean, 
So, like, some places have Pepsi products, some places have Coke products, right? So, how do you really compare it? Because to me, it's like you can't really compare Coke to Pepsi. Like, it, for me, like, well, okay. If I had to pick between Coke or Pepsi, I would pick Coke every day. Like, I just, I do not like, I don't like Pepsi, straight up Pepsi. It's just like, I don't know, it tastes like, ugh, sewer. It kind of tastes flat to me, and I just don't like Pepsi. And then, um, if I had to pick between, like, Sprite, Sierra Mist, and uh, 7-Up, I would pick uh, Sierra Mist first, then 7-Up, probably, and then Sprite. If I had to pick between Mountain Dew or, I, what's the alternative? I don't even know, you know? If I had to pick between Dr. Pepper or Mr. Pibb, I would pick Mr. Pibb. Um, I love root beer. And if I had to pick between, like, Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, it really, really just depends, you know? When I go, th like, to the gas station with Tanya to get a fountain pop, nine times out of ten, I get a Diet uh, Dr. Pepper or a Diet uh, Pepsi. Because I like gas station Diet Pepsi. But if I go to, like grocery, or if I'm sitting by a pool, like in Vegas, I want a Diet Coke. Like a Diet Coke in a can is crisp. I don't know. It just is so much better to me. But if they said we only have Diet Pepsi, I would be totally fine with that too. I don't like really, there's, I'm trying to think, there's not really a whole lot of like soda pop that I don't like. Um, fountain pop, soda pop, whatever, you know, fountain drinks. Um, I'm not a huge orange fan, but I, I will drink it. Um, if there's like, if there's not any other options, but when is there ever not any other options, you know? I never get that Powerade stuff. I mean, I would drink it in a bottle, but I wouldn't go inside and get it. Ooh, I do love a good cream soda, and I do love a good red pop, but I, I don't even know the last time I got a red pop because it just is messy, you know? But now I kind of want one since I'm talking about it. But you know, you talk about 6,000 calories and a big gulp or something like that. Somebody in my life, oh, so I live streamed tonight too. That was fun, I had a good time in there tonight. We had a real good time. About 100, 120 people in there the whole time, it was fun. And uh, people asked me, they were like, what size fountain pop do you get when you go to um, get a fountain pop with Tani? Because Tani was in there and so, we were, I was talking about some stuff and she didn't guess. She was just like in the comments. And I got, I usually, I get a large and Tanya gets like an extra large, but then she doesn't drink the whole thing. She drinks like a third of it or a fourth of it. And then she puts the rest of it in her refrigerator. And then like four days later, she's got like four fountain pops in her refrigerator from all different places. And then she just throws them all out. And I'm like, that is such a waste. Why don't you just get a small? She's like, well, it's the same price and I might want more of it. And I'm like, yeah. But you know, like me, like Tanya is not a coffee drinker. She is, like if we're going to a meeting and we go through Starbucks, she'll get a coffee at Starbucks. Um, but she only gets decaf. And if we go to a meeting, she always gets coffee at the meeting. But other than that, she's not like a person that would like go and get like a coffee and drink it throughout the day like I do, you know, with my Starbucks cup, which I left back in the house again. Um, she's not like a person that would, you know, just like go get a huge venti coffee and drink it throughout the day. She's a person that would go get a fountain pop and she drinks it throughout the day. And she's, I mean, she's, we talk about this all the time. She's like, I need to dr stop drinking fountain pop. She's like, I know if I stop drinking fountain pops, I drop 20 pounds. And I'm like, Tanya, I don't know. I stopped drinking fountain pops, diet soda, all of it. I stopped drinking fountain pops for 30 days and I didn't lose any weight off of it. Not one bit. I will tell you this. So my, my skin did start clearing up though. And I had less headaches. So I wonder if that adds to it. But sometimes for me, like if I am, it has got really cold in here. If I have, um, I'm gonna start pulling change from out of here. But sometimes if I, uh, if I have a headache, like a fountain pop really helps that. So then you know who knows, right? Did I just find a dollar? Ooh, $10. Hot tamale dollars. I did not know I had $10 down in here. But I would rather pay with change. I'll surely pay you uh, Friday for your services today. Okay. I have all this change just like laying out on my lap now. Did you guys ever want to go on The Price is Right when you were a kid? Oh my God, I did. <sighs> to show you what I have in here. I have these handy wipe things from the casino. Look at this. I always take this, it's got, this thing has got to be old. It has like a little lemon on it, look at that. <laughs> to clean your hands. But can I tell you what's so funny? The last time I was at the casino, 
they all, you guys, all the workers in there, because I'm friends with all the workers at the casino, they're so nice. They all watch my channels. You guys, I didn't even know they knew I had a YouTube channel. And I guess this one girl that works there, like I had talked to her a long time ago, and um, my friend Valerie was sitting there or something, and she was like, um, we were talking, so I was talking to this girl that works there, and she said something about, um, what's your name? And I said, my name's Peter, and she told me what her name was, and I was like, oh, it's so nice to meet you, I always see them. These are the, okay, so there's, let me just tell you, there's different ranks at the casino when you go there, okay? So there's the people that um, work at the door. They're really nice. So the guys are like security and they walk around. They're really nice. And then, well, they're not really, they're security kind of. They're like the door guys and whatever. And then there's the people, there's uh, the waitresses. They're of course always really, really nice and underworked and underpaid, probably. Oh, here's a dollar. Oh, here's a $5 bill. Okay, well, now all I need is this dollar. So, um, anyway, and then there is the guys, the maintenance guys that work on the machines. There's a couple girls, too. Oh, sorry. And there's a couple girls, too. And they're real nice, but they, they just kind of stay to themselves. Like, they don't really ever come around there. Like, I'm talking about the maintenance, maintenance people that go in there and they put the boxes in there. If you've ever been to a casino, you know what I'm talking about. Like, they reload the boxes and all that kind of stuff, okay? And, that, and they just kind of are doing their business. They, like, don't talk to anybody, really, or anything. And then there are the people that are like, I don't know if they're VIP hosts. I don't know if they're security. I don't ever talk to them. They don't talk to you. They're rude. They're not nice whatsoever. They won't even smile at you. And I actually found out that they're not supposed to be friendly to you, that they're not supposed to smile at you. They're supposed to be completely indifferent is what I found. Because I always, this one girl, I'd always be like, hi. And she wouldn't say anything to me. And I thought, how rude. My Lord, she can't even say hi to me here. God, I'm here all the time. So anyway, um... But then there are these, um, it's like, I know like one of the guys, but there's like, I would say half guy. Well, I don't know. I'd say it's like 70, 30. It's mostly women that do this job. And, um, they're the ones that come over, they do the hand payouts. I don't know what their title is, but they're the ones that do the hand payouts. Like if you hit a progressive, they're the ones that like, if there's something wrong with your machine, they come and check it. If the service light goes on, they come over and check it. And they just kind of walk around and stuff. Well, there's two of them there that I absolutely adore. There was this one, she used to work um, on thirds, but now she works on first. And I never, I'm not obviously there in the morning, so I don't see her, right? But when I do go, uh, these two that work there, I absolutely love them. Well, this one, I was talking to her one night, we've talked about everything that she talked about redoing her bathroom we talk all the time she stands there and we talk right while I'm playing so I was talking to her one friend Valerie was there and she and so this woman this was like the first time that she and I were talking this girl and she said now what's your name and I said Peter and she was like introducing herself and Valerie goes he's YouTube famous now I go Valerie shut up seriously like <laughs> and she's like why why you're YouTube fam. I was like Valerie seriously okay and she thought it was hilarious so anyway so this girl she was like I don't want to say her name but she was like um she was like, um, do you have a YouTube channel? And I was like, yeah, I have YouTube. I do YouTube videos or whatever. And she was like, oh my God, what's it called? I'll go watch it. And I was like, no, really, you don't need to. <laughs> and Valerie goes, uh, his name is Peter Mon, and he is YouTube famous and he loves making videos and he's so sweet and blah, 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 whatever. So she was talking about that to her. And she was like, well, what are your videos about? And Okay, it was at the end, and I'm having problems with this camera lately, you guys. Like, the lighting is going in and out, and it's not focusing and stuff like that, and the can I think I'm about time to get a new camera. What was that? That scared the hell out of me. It's like a mo- I just dropped one of my damn pennies. Anyway, um, almost like a motorcycle with a, a, a speaker going. But anyway, so I'm getting ready to pull into the McDonald's, but- so, uh, Valerie was like, oh, he's, uh, he has all these YouTube channels, and he loves to do YouTube, and he's so sweet, blah, 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 and she was like, oh, really? I was like, no, you don't have to watch a girl, whatever. Well, so she goes and watches my videos, okay? Well, she didn't say anything about it, and I didn't know. Like, I didn't know that she had been watching my videos all this time, right? <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get my, I need another penny. Where'd that penny go? Penny, penny, who's got my penny? Do you remember that game back in the day? That was stupid, man. <laughs> so was Duck Duck. Do you see the light just went out again in here? Or is it just me and my head going over there? Duck Duck Goose. That game was stupid too, but I do like a good cakewalk. Do you like cakewalks? 
Give him one moment, please. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even lose my penny. It was right there. Oh no, those were two quarters. I'll put on a little bit of my, uh, my drunk elephant. Is that what it's called? My drunk elephant lippy. Reminds me of L. Larry. Hey, L. Go ahead, uh, can I get a large Diet Coke, please? Yeah, you. Yep, that's it. I don't think this is the same woman, but if it was, she's probably like, oh my god, him again. I move this this way. I don't think she loves being on camera. I'm not used to it because my baristas love it so much. Hi. Did you say 109? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was her. You remember how she used to be real friendly? But she saw the camera one night, and now she's like, why is he recording me? I think it's that. Like, you know, people don't really get it. They're not like, oh, he's a vlogger. I mean, why would she? You know what I mean? But, <laughs> I mean, why would she? <laughs> he's a vlogger. Whenever I'm like, I have a camera up, and like going in somewhere, and like teenagers like see me, they're like, it's always like the girls, and they're like, are you a vlogger? Like I'm some famous vlogger of the world or something. But anyway, how disappointed they are when they go look up who Peter Vlogs is. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, my battery died already. I cannot believe it. Thank God I had another battery with me. Um, but I don't even think this battery... What is going on with the light? It's so weird in here. But I don't even think... Um, did that not sound like there was somebody in the backseat of my car? That was so freaky. But I don't even think that this battery is charged that much. So, because I've been filming videos all day long and I thought I charged it. I don't know, maybe I didn't. But anyway, let's hope that this battery is fully charged. So anyway, she was like, um, so she's been like watching my videos and stuff like that, but I had no idea that she was watching my videos, right? So the last time I was at the casino, um, uh, this other worker that works there that does the same thing as her, who I love, she was like, if they let me give a shout out to him, I'll give him a shout out. Next time I'm up there, I'll ask him if I can. But um, she was like, um, she was like, oh my God, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm whatever. And she was like, uh, or she, did, she said, I didn't know you had YouTube channels. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, I only saw the one of them, but what are the rest of them? And so I was telling her and whatever. She was real sweet. And she's like, oh my God, I love it so much. I go, I'm so embarrassed. And she goes, no, we love you. We think it's so funny. So then that same night, I saw the other girl, and, like, these people, literally, when I see them in the casino, like, um, like, I just feel like, I mean, it's just, like, they don't know who I am, they don't know that I have any video, they don't know that I'm just not, like, you know, a construction worker, I'm sure they probably do, right, but that I'm not a construction worker, but they have no clue who I am, right? So I saw the other girl uh, when I was getting ready to leave, and I said to her, I said, I did not know that you guys watched my videos, like, cause she had, this other girl had said that, right? And she goes, we all do. And I go, what do you mean? And she goes, we all do. Everybody that works here watches your videos. I was like, are you kidding me? She was like, no, we all watch your videos. We think you're hilarious. And I was like, oh my God, that makes me so happy. Thank you. And she's like, yeah, we love watching it. And I go, I'm kind of embarrassed with the fan flip being stuff. She goes, why? She goes, it's hilarious. She goes, you make us all laugh. We really appreciate it. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she was like, but we like your review channel the best. And I was like, I like my review channel. It's fun. I'm having a great time with it. I'm having such a blast with that channel, you know? So that was kind of funny. There I thought I was all mysterious up in the, uh, what do you call it, in the casino, and I wasn't, not one bit. Thanks to Valerie. <laughs> no, but I don't care. But let me just tell you, Valerie is so funny, and I've told this story before, like, whenever people come up and sit next to us and start playing next to us and talk to us, well, sometimes Valerie and I don't always play next to each other. Back in the day, so we play Lightning Strike, okay? <laughs> Well, I don't play Lightning Strike anymore. I play Hot Hits because on Lightning Strike, I waste too much money and I don't win anything. Valerie, she leaves $2,000 richer. I leave poor every time. I lost my money, right? So I don't play those Lightning Strikes anymore. I love them, but I don't play them because the money goes too fast. So I play Hot Hits. Those are my favorites now. The Hot Hit Progressives. And um, 
Well, the last time that I went, I hit f over $500 on two different progressives and I left there with $1,000. I was like, damn. I took $100 and I left with $1,000. I was I was okay with that. So anyway, I was like, we're going to stay away from the casino for a while. That's Vegas money. So anyway, um, so anyway, but when we meet people, people come down and they'll sit next to us and they'll start talking, right? And some people will just come straight out and they'll be like, oh my God, I've had such the worst day in the entire world. My, my kids don't ever call me and I come in and it's just like, and sometimes you're like, okay, and I'm real chatty with these people, okay? But Valerie, she don't want to be nobody's friend because she just doesn't. She's just like, let me sit here, let me drink my coffee and let me play my machines, okay? I don't want to be nobody's good Judy up in here. I don't know you people and we ain't hanging out ever outside of here, okay? And don't worry, she doesn't need to say it. She lets everybody know that's how she feels, right? So we are there one night. She had me cracking up so bad. And there is this girl. And, like, this is, like, the kiss of death. You don't ever tell anybody when you're at the casino, like, oh, I've seen you here a lot. Like, you don't say that to somebody, right? In fact, my good Judy Lori, uh, that was back in, she was in a vlog back in the day, I used to talk about, we, she doesn't really go as much anymore, and we don't go at the same times when we go. She goes, like, on Sunday afternoons and stuff. But anyway... So Lori, that's how I met Lori back in the day because Lori and I were sitting next to these machines, these Zeus machines that I used to love. I was obsessed with them back in the day. But anyway, um, I should play those sometimes. I kind of, or sometime I kind of like those games. But anyway, Laura, Lori and I were sitting next to each other, and I said to her, I said, um, I see you here an awful lot. <laughs> Or I said, I see you a lot or something. And she goes, so what? <laughs> she was like, so what? And I go, no, I'm not saying it like that. Or she said something like, I see you here a lot too or something. I can't remember how she said it, but it was so funny. I go, no, I'm not calling you out on it. Like, I'm here all the time too, right? And she's like, you know what? She was like, we got talking and she was like, I don't drink. And she's like, this is like kind of how I relax. And you know, I've had some stressful things happen to me in my life. And we started talking and I was like, oh, I don't drink either. And she was like, well, she's like, I don't drink because I had problems. And I said, I don't drink because I had problems. Do you guys not see the light? I feel like this light is like a major problem right now on my camera. I don't know why. And uh, my ring light, my old ring light died. And so I started using the one that Alex got me today. The cord is zapped. I mean, like completely caught on fire almost and zapped. It was scary. So anyway, um, so that's how Lori and I met. We started talking that way because, um, oh, she and I have nicknames for literally every person in that casino. It is so funny. But anyway, um, did you ever see the video that I did about the woman that asked, it's a true story, the woman that asked me if I could get her, Jeffree Star, and I was like, I don't know him. I don't know him. Like, what? She was like, because she saw my video or said, Lori told her, I can't even remember the story now, but it was so funny. And she was like, my, my boy loves Jeffree Star so much. And then she got mad at me because I was like, I don't know him. Like, I don't know, Jeffrey. What are you talking about? You know, it's so funny. I did that video back in the day. I can't even remember really how it happened all the time, but she was the prayer cloth lady. <laughs> Sorry. She had these cloths that had prayers written on them, and she would rub them, and she said, oh, sweet Jesus, please, please, I need this money. Oh, my God, Lori and I would laugh. Lori would turn to me, she'd be like, we would start laughing so hard, and this woman, she'd rub these things, she'd rub these, uh, she, the prayers were so rubbed off of the, uh, what do you call it? Of the prayer cloths. They're like these little, like, they look like handkerchiefs that, you know, that you keep it, you know, like little kids have little handkerchiefs, you know, that, not like, tissue, not like Kleenex, but like actual handkerchiefs, but then they have prayers printed on them. Have you guys seen, I'd never seen these before the casino. And she furiously like rubs her screen. Sometimes she goes fast, but sometimes she goes real slow too, you know? And then one night she was telling us about how Jesus wanted her to win the, all these big the progressives and stuff like that. And, Ta and not Tanya. Tanya hates the casino. She thinks it's a waste of time. She don't get it. But anyway, the only time, the last time I took Tanya to the casino, which was, I don't know, a year and a half ago or two years ago or something like that, we were next to this woman and this woman was playing she was so serious she was playing two, two different machines and Tony goes why is she playing two different machines I, I don't know Tony and she goes do you play some, two machines and I said well sometimes on the quarter the 50s I used to play butterflies and uh, triple seven <laughs> 
I am so country. And my friend that is back in town, he has not stopped, stopped contacting me about stupid bingo. All he wants to do is go play bingo. And I'm like, I can't do it tonight. I can't do it tonight. And then I really wanted to go play bingo on Monday night with he and his daughter. And he told me that it started. Oh, I can't go this week either. My God, I have a haircut. I want to go to bingo so bad. But he he told me it was later in the evening and it started at 8 o'clock. Anyway, he only won $12.50. He won like a free set of bingo. That's what a bingo. You paid twelve fifty, and that's what it. Anyway, he just won a free bingo game. You know what I mean? Not just one game, but like the next time he comes, he got it for free. So anyway. I swear I'm really not this country. I'm not. Okay, kind of I am, I guess. But I don't really even care. It's just who I am. So anyway. So, um... The one time I took Tanya, not the one time, she's been a couple times, but Tanya's like one of those people, like this drives me crazy, okay? She'll, you know, she takes $20 and then, which is fine, that's like whatever, my mother used to do the same thing, but my mother could take, make $20 last five hours, it seemed like, but Tanya will take $20, last time I was like, here, just let me give you some money, and uh, she'll take $20 and then she'll go and she'll like put it in one machine and then she'll hit it twice and then she doesn't hit anything, she like moves to another machine, I'm like, you cannot do that, you have to sit in a machine for a while, like, this, do you not? No, you have to kind of sit in a machine. Like, you're not going to just walk up to a machine. That doesn't happen. That happens in movies. It doesn't, like, in Ocean's Eleven, but that doesn't happen anywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. I know which machines are going to hit. So, at the end, Tani and I, we were sitting there. We were playing these Zeus machines that Lori and I used to sit at, right? And, uh, so, Tanya's like, this one, she got the, oh, the woman was like, every time she'd hit something, Tanya would be like, <gasps> she the hottest machine in town. And then Tanya would hit her machine. She'd go, oh, my machine's so hot. Hot potatoes, hot potatoes, and stuff. like. We were literally winning like 20, 30 cents at like a hit. Tanya would be like, she hit like 20 cents. She'd be like, oh, my God, hot potatoes. This machine's so hot. This woman was so pissed at us. She was not having it. Anyway, Lori and I, we back in the day, we had nicknames for all these people. Well, the problem was this. Okay, this is why I don't see Lori as much anymore. They took out all of our machines. That they put in a diamond club in there that you have to be a diamond club VIP member. Okay. You guys, I truly have no idea what is wrong with my camera, and I'm gonna be really upset if I have to buy another camera. But I have clocked so many hours on this camera that I just said camera like three times. I've clocked so many hours on it with vlogging and my other videos that it would make sense that maybe I need another camera. I don't know. But you guys, I literally looked up and it was like the screen was black. And I had to pull in and I had to see where it stopped. And it stopped. I, I had like talked like 10 minutes after. It, I was talking about Tanya and I being up in the casino and her saying hot potatoes and all that kind of stuff. And that was like, I had talked for like 10 minutes after that about all this kind of crazy stuff of Lori and I and all these stories that we had and whatever. And it's like just not even on there. It's like the weirdest thing. And it wasn't at the end of the 23 minutes. I don't even understand what's going on with my camera. I'm so over it. But anyway, I hope to God I don't have to buy another camera, number one. Number two is I hope that if it happens, it happens. Like if it dies, I hope it dies before we go to Las Vegas. Because I can go to Best Buy and I can get another camera. But I can't. If I'm in Las Vegas, that's going to be a half a day. And I don't want to deal with that. And I'm kind of like, well, should I just go get another camera now? But that's expensive. And I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to, you know? So anyway, I don't know what's going on. And I don't even know if you guys can see it on your end. On Because when I looked back, it was just black. Like, it went in, like, it was like I was talking to Tanya and then it, about Tanya and then it just faded out. Like, and there was, like, it was, you could see that it was still going. But there was, like, like, it was just all black. But, like, the time was continuing to tick. And I'm like, well, this is weird. What happened? And I don't know. But, like, for me... Like, when I'm looking at it, it's not doing it right now. But every once in a while, it's like the light kind of goes in and out. It's weird. I don't know if you guys can see it on your end or not. I won't know it until I um, put the vlog back up and then I'll look for it. I just hope something's not wrong with this camera. I, but you know what? I think I bought this camera. Well, when did I buy it? Like I, Maybe it was a year ago. Last year was the year of hell for cameras. Do you guys remember that? I had so many problems with cameras last year. Well, my first and second year, you know what? When I started, I started with these Canons that Alex and I each had one that we bought um, way back in the day because we were going to do photo shoots and stuff with it with each other. That was going to be our couple thing that we did. And then when I started vlogging, I or when I started doing more on my channel, I got a vlogging camera. I got a Sony Alpha 5000, which I actually really, really liked. And then it broke, so I went and got a second one. And then it broke. Do you guys remember this? I was over it. And Sony 
junk. They were no help to me whatsoever. Their customer service was some of the worst customer service I've ever dealt with in my entire life. And I mean, do not buy a Sony. I think I actually even maybe have tweeted that out or something. I was like, don't buy a Sony. And, um, which is surprising to me because I always thought that they were a really great brand. Their customer service was just, they were crap. They were like, well, you have to mail the camera into us. And I go, can I just buy a camera, you fix it, and then you reimburse me for the difference? And they're like, no, we can't do that. And I'm, they're like, you have to mail, I said, is there anywhere in Indianapolis, is there a service station that I can take it to so they can look at it during that day and see what's going on? No, you have to mail it to us and then we'll like look at it and that usually takes, by the time that you mail it to us and we look at it, that's usually 10 days. And then it was like, or, or they were gonna get it back to me in 10 days. I said, I cannot go 10 days without having a camera. I said, I make videos every day on YouTube. And they're like, well, there's not really anything else that we can do for you. And I go, well, if, you, if I buy another camera and I use it, can I give you that camera if you can fix it and you know, make it a refurbish? No, we can't do that. And I said, okay, I said, can you, uh, I'm gonna tell you what right now from now on when I have problems with customer service like this I'm just gonna start doing my customer service phones I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna put it on my review channel is what I'm gonna start doing and when I get really horrible customer service then I'm going to uh, it's gonna straight up being over there you know what's really interesting is I was just thinking about this I had not thought about this till then you know what is one video I still get comments on on a regular basis you guys is I did a video on that um, uh, what was that box called? It's that murder box, that game. Uh, shoot, I did a review on it, and it was junk. It was straight up junk. And they, like, I even read their emails and stuff that they sent to me. What was that called? I can't remember. But I, uh, oh, why can't I think of it? I get emails about it all. People email me all the time. They're like, I bought it too, and it is junk. You were so right. Blah blah blah. blah whatever. But they did reimburse me my money. They were like, in the end, they finally did uh, reimburse me my money. What is that called? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That subscription box that you're supposed to buy like 12 months of it and then you solve the murder? It's so stupid. It is so stupid. It's so expensive. See, I'm gonna start doing those subscription box services on my uh, review channel. I've been meaning to do that anyway. But okay, so. What was I gonna say? I totally forgot. What was I gonna say? I totally forgot about that. What I was gonna say. Say my name, say my name. But anyway, yeah, Sony customer service on the camera sucked. They were horrible. So then I went and I looked and everybody, all these YouTubers, like I had heard them talking. I think it was Joey Graceffa, actually. I saw some video, which was strange because I don't watch many of his videos. I, I kind of did back in the day, but not really. He's never been a YouTuber that's really interested in me that much. And, um, but... In some video, he was talking about how he had a Canon G7X, or somebody told me to get a Canon G7X. I don't even remember, to be honest. And it was almost the exact same price as the Sony, so that's what I got. But then I had to get another Canon G7X. Do you remember that? Because then something happened with it. But I took it back to Best Buy, and Best Buy replaced it. I bought it, it broke that same week. That's what happened. I bought it, it broke that same week. Or maybe that was the Sony, but I don't think it was. No, I think it was the Canon. It broke the same week, and I went back and they replaced it. It was like two days later the camera broke, and they replaced it. I think, yeah, I think it was like two days later because I have like whatever elite status. I, Best Buy or whatever, and they were like, oh yeah, you can return it within 72 hours. They were so nice. Best Buy, best customer service. They were so nice to me. But I've had really great customer service at Best Buy on more, more than just one occasion. They're just really fantastic. And um, no questions asked. I just handed my camera. They said, here, go pick another one out and we'll exchange it. I said, are you kidding me? They said, no, just go pick another one out. I said, okay. Um, so I, I think that's what happened because, or, did they have to order it? I don't think they had to order it. They, oh, no, 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 no. The original one she had to order. And um, and that was when I still had the Sony, I think. And it would work or something. I don't remember what I did, actually. But something was off about it. It was like lock up or something. What is this? Single lane traffic. Oh, that's not until tomorrow morning. But anyway, um, why would you do single lane traffic on the interstate? Like a major interstate that people are traveling places on. 
on a weekend. Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. That you're really screwing up people's vacations. Like, why? It's dead right now. Why would you not do it through the week? Through the week. Oh, my God. If I get stuck in traffic, I cannot get stuck in traffic. I have to go to the bathroom so bad right now. I can't see if... Say my name. I feel like... I don't know why my gut is telling me there's going to be a traffic jam up here. We've had so much construction in Indiana. So anyway, then I got the Canon G7X. I got the second one, the, the Mach 2 or whatever it's called. That's what everybody always asks me what camera. You know, it's interesting when people ask me what camera I use. And I think people are kind of like sometimes they're like, what camera? Like it's really like, you know, an invasive question. They're like kind of worried about asking me. And I'm like, I don't mind. Ask me. And I'm like, I used to ask the same questions to YouTubers because I wanted to know. I wanted to have a YouTube channel. And I thought, well, if you're going to make a YouTube channel, you have to have the camera that everybody has. I mean, I truly did think that, you guys, you know. Isn't that so funny that I would ask, you know? So, like, back in the day on Rant, like, we would interview a lot of YouTubers, and um, that's our website that we have. You can't even get on the interstate that way. Now I'm screwed. Now I have to go through Noblesville. Whatever. I guess I'm not really going anywhere anyway, except for just a blog. But, uh... So we would interview... We interviewed a lot of... Uh, uh, YouTubers and um, we, I would always ask them you know like what camera do you use what editing software do you use not like I edit because I don't but you know what I mean like I I thought that's what you had to do like I think before you start YouTube people have this idea like you have to have this great understanding of how YouTube works technologically and you have to have the right camera and you have to buy all this equipment and I'm like don't even, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. And I thought that too. You know, I really, really did. I thought to start a channel, like I had to have all of that, you know? And it just was so not true. And I can, it's so funny, you know, that I ended up buying, um, well, I ended up starting my booktube channel and I was going to buy a new camera. I thought I'll buy a new camera, whatever. And I had this Canon camera and Alex was like, if you're going to do it, why don't you just use that camera? But he was all like, oh, are you going to start another project? Tony was like, oh, seriously, another project. A project that ended up, let's just be honest, three years later, it consumed my life and I love every minute of it and so do they. But anyway, um, I mean, they're so supportive of it. But you know, they didn't know. They're like, oh, here's something else Peter's getting interested in. You know what I mean? And, um, but I thought that. I thought I had to have the right camera and the right ring lights. And I don't even know that I knew the right ring lights and umbrella lights and all that kind of stuff. And hell, I don't even still know. Today, I had to hook up this ring light that Alex got me. And it's like all digitized and has remote with it. I don't have any clue what I'm doing. I was like, please, God, just let this thing work so that I can turn it on so I can actually have some light to film a video. But if that doesn't work, I'm just going to sit in front of the windy window like I've done before. I was like, forget it. You know, I can do this without, I don't have to have all that. You know what I mean? It's just not that deep. And, uh, you know, I tell people all the time when they want to start video or start a channel, I'm like, is this where I turn? Hold on a second. No. I'm like, if you want to start a channel, just start a channel. I know, but I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the right backdrops. I mean, I was watching all these review channels today. I'm like now obsessed with watching review channels. I watch all of these review channels. It was really interesting because I was watching this one channel called, mm, what's it called? Unboxing something. Unbox. The guy's really funny in it, okay? I don't know what his, what his channel's called. Unbox something. You know what? I actually took a picture of it, so I'll tell you in a second. Um, but, because uh, I was like, I want to remember this. To, uh, when I'm, I want Alex to, like, look at, what do you call this channel? And I won't remember unless it's in my phone. And then when I'm going through, it's, this is not where I want to go. And then when I'm looking through my phone at my pictures, I'll see it. I'll be like, oh, by the way, there's this, it's called Unbox something. But anyway, he does like a lot of unboxings of like phones and computers and all this kind of stuff. But you guys know, okay, he has 15 million subscribers. That's how many subscribers that um, James Charles has. And people are like, oh my God, James Charles has 15 million subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so does this dude that's sitting in his house reviewing uh, telephones and computer screens and fans and BS like that. Are you kidding me? Like, let's just be for real. 
you don't have to be James Charles to have 15 million subscribers on YouTube. You know, there's this other guy. I don't know who he is. I wish I could remember his name. I literally watch every single movie review that he does. His, his thumbnails are so jank, okay? And I absolutely live for his thumbnails. It's literally him on one side and the movie poster on the other side. That's it. They are so jank, okay? And I'm not criticizing him for it because y'all know I don't edit. But, like, I literally, like, this guy's movie reviews, and they're literally, like, four minutes long, right? I mean, they're a little boring to me sometimes, honestly. But when I go to it, and he, and he goes and sees the movies, like, as soon as they come out. I don't know if he gets, like, pre-releases that he watches at home or what happens. I don't know how that happens. But, like, literally, the movie comes out on a Friday. He's got his review up on a Friday. I don't know if he goes and sees it and reviews it that day or what he does. But he literally has the movie out that day. And, um... I would do that if I thought anybody would watch it, but I think, you know, it just takes time to do all that. But, I, like, I'm real intrigued with the, all of the reviewers. I love them. I'm, like, so obsessed with watching review videos right now. I love them. And it's just, like, I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm like this, watching this guy, like, review, like, a new fan. I was watching this one guy today. What was his name? Um, he had a catchy name. I can't remember what it was. He does a lot of ass... This is a different guy. He does a lot of ass on TV stuff. And he did, like, the new Arctic fan. Is it better than the first? And I'm, like, sitting there. I literally watched, like, almost the entire video. I was like... <laughs> Why am I so obsessed with these review videos? Because they're nice. They're drama-free. The people are hilarious. And I feel like I'm learning stuff. This, he was the same one. He did this ass on TV thing. Where you, like, um, make, like, the spaghetti or whatever out of vegetables. And I literally, I mean, he's, like, up close on it. He's, I was like, oh, my God, I love these videos. Like, they're just so nice, you know. And he's got a real funny personality. He's enjoyable to watch. And I was like, you know what? Like, this is where it's at. Like, I, I like this, you know. I've been loving doing the reviews on my review channel. I just have been really, really having a great time over there. It's been so much fun. And it's fun every day to come up with something new, too, you know? And it not have to be so deep. I will tell you this. If you went and watched my um, Ikea mukbang, that was, like, I mean, obviously, every review I do on that channel is, like, you know, completely 100% honest. But um, I... Like, they're very tongue-in-cheek funny, I you know? But they're stupid, whatever. It's my giggly, funny side of myself. But... The, all the reviews are completely honest how I feel that meal let me just tell you the, the the thought of that meal lingered with me I literally today was like I think I might want to drive back to Ikea and have that meal like that was going to be my lean and green today it was so good you guys like I didn't even really realize it at the time that I did the review of the sweet of the meatballs the veggie mo meatballs and then there was like this little vegetable patty that was so good. It tasted like onion and it was kind of spicy and it just was, it was delicious. It was so good. And I thought, and it, it was very healthy too, you know? And I mean, the only thing that was on it that wasn't super healthy was the, cur the curry sauce, but I don't even think it was that unhealthy. And it was $5.38. And I got, um, like I was driving away and I was like, I really think that like I want to, go and have that again. Like, that cafeteria was fun. I really liked it. I told Alex, I said, we should go there and eat some Saturday and then just, like, do some shopping and stuff. He's like, I didn't even know that they had a cafeteria. I was like, I didn't either. I knew that they had that little, like, deli area, which they apparently have vegetarian hot dogs there, too, so I want to get one of those. I haven't had a hot dog, hot dog since I've been a vegetarian. I mean, I've had, like, Morning Star stuff, but I haven't, like, in a bun with mustard on it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I'd die. So, yeah. I got way off on a tangent. When was I talking about my camera faded to black? That was so weird. Oh, Tanya Jean in the casino. What was I talking about? Oh, Valerie and Lori and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's so funny. Well, Lori and I, we used to have nicknames for everybody. We called that, you know, that lady. We call her the prayer cloth lady. And we had all kinds of friends of ours. So, anyway. Um, Valerie, though, she don't she doesn't want to meet anybody, right? So, like, this one night we were sitting... <laughs> It's so funny. We were sitting there, and I don't know what these people's names were. Their names were like, I don't know, Ted and Susie or something. And uh, so this, we were like all, when we used to play back in the day, we would play lightning strikes. This is what I was originally going to say. And there were four lightning strike machines, right? <laughs> I'm like, right, Valerie? She's not here. There was like maybe six lightning strike machines. Okay, one, two... There's 
moon race. Shoot, why can't I think? Okay, there's moon race, there's the horse one. Yeah, there's four. But why do I see it on the other wall and I feel like there's more? No, there's four. So people always wanted these machines. They were always taken and we, that's where we would play, right? But now, and this couple, they played over there next to us too sometimes, right? But now that they moved those machines, now lightning strikes have their own room. Can you even imagine? The own room of lightning strikes I live. Okay, so anyway. Um, but there's this woman, she's real nice, okay? And, um, and just real friendly. And so we were there one night and I was like talking to her and stuff like that. And her husband, he didn't really say anything. And um, she was like, oh my God. She was like, we're always here at the same time. And I'm like, I know. And Valerie's just sitting there. She's like sitting there with her cup of coffee holding her hand. She's like, oh my God, what is going on, right? And um, she goes, well, how this woman? How did it happen? So I'm sit, I, I'm kind of confused. I'm trying to follow this roundabout. Hold on a second. Let me get to where I'm getting, and then let me get to where the getting's good, and then I'll tell the, the rest of the story. So anyway, I've told it on here before. It's not that. It's not that grand. So anyway, we're sitting there, and it was like the four of us sit around. This woman's like, "Oh my God, we're always here together." Oh, I think it was around Thanksgiving time or something. She's like, "We should have Thanksgiving dinner together or something." It was Easter. I don't know, but she was like, "We should have Thanksgiving dinner together," and I'm like, "I know, we're always here together or whatever." I think she even asked us if we were coming for the Thanksgiving buffet. And <laughs> Valerie and I were like, no, we have families. But anyway, so uh, so she goes, well, she goes, um, she goes, oh, we should, she, goes, she said, oh, yeah, we should eat together sometime or something like that. I feel like we see each other all the time. Valerie, not having it, okay? And she's like, hi, I'm Susie, and this is my husband, Ted. And I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Peter. And Valerie goes, Valerie. <laughs> I was like, Valerie, my lord, you were so rude to nice Ted and Susie. That wasn't their names. I actually do kind of remember their names. Well, I remember her name. I think I remember what his name is, but I'm not sure. So Valerie was like, I was totally not rude to them. I was like, well, maybe just a little bit. She was like, was I? Lori, back in the day, you know what Lori would say? She's like, I don't know those people. She was like, and I don't have to be nice to those people. I don't know them. I will tell you that people are weird up in the casino sometimes. This woman and I, this is years ago. This is before Alex and I were even together. This was like the year that between my ex and Alex. And I went up there one night and I was playing next to this woman and I literally, we sat next to each other. I'm not in line, it was hours, okay? We were playing these uh, double diamond bonus game things. I think it was like 75 cents a spin or something like that max bet and we were hitting and I'd be like oh good hit and she'd be like oh good hit and then I'd be like hey I'm getting a coke you want something I put my chair up she'd be like yeah you know get, can you give me a cup of coffee with a little bit of cream yeah no problem go in the bathroom we watch my chair we were talking oh my god good hit good hit it was whatever like that this went on I'm not lying to you okay for three to four hours then I looked at her and I mean and we've been playing forever I looked at her and I said so are uh, you from around here she literally hit her uh, change out button took her ticket and hit it I was like, what did I say? Like, all I was asking was, are you from, where are you from? People, now people, it's weird, because people ask me all the time. Like, when I'm there, they're like, oh, this is a long drive for you, where are you from? And I'm like, no, it's, you know, I'm from in, uh, Indianapolis. And they're like, oh, I'm from here or there. It's kind of weird. Some people, like, drive long distances. And they're like, oh, yeah, I heard this casino hits a lot. And I'm like, did you? Because I didn't hear that. <laughs> I don't know who told you that, but I didn't hear that. So anyway, casino stories. They're fun, aren't they? Okay, you guys, listen. I am at this part of the video. is at 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get off here now because I want to listen to my audio book a little bit. And I'm going to end it early. I think it's early. I have no idea how long it is now. But anyway, well, I started it sometime 11 something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyway. Oh, well, I don't even know now with all, so anyway. Um, but I'm going to get off here now, and um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to get off here now, and um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic 
No. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. It's the beginning of the weekend. Thank God it's Friday. I hope you're having a an, an amazing beginning to your weekend. If you have not tried them and you have an Ikea in your town, go to the cafeteria, eat the meatballs. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. The elderflower juice box is really good too. Okay, and the little, oh, veggie patty, you have to have it. It's the best thing. Okay, and um, I hope you're having an amazing Friday unless you have other plans. Have an amazing beginning to your week. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Make sure that you look at yourself every day in the mirror and tell yourself how much you are valued, how much you love yourself. I love you. Make sure that you believe it in your heart. We need to all be working on self-worth on a daily basis and telling ourselves how important we are to each other. So, um, and if nobody else has told you, like I said, I love you. That's it. It's that simple. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Or, and I love you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.